about that. Sorry I wasn't recording. What I did, I'm canning a couple things of uh, uh, carrots. Basically just fill it up, fill it up with boiling water, about an inch from the top. Then the meat, all I did with the meat, I uh, filled it up, inch from the top. I put some barbecue sauce in some of them. And the other ones, I just put some of my juice drippings from the pulled pork in there. I had about 10 ounces of meat of each one, maybe 12 some of them. So I got uh, 12, 14, I got about 160 ounces of uh, uh, meat there, which would be a uh, um, pound is 16 ounces. So about 10 pounds of meat here canned. Back a little bit, my beeper's going off. Okay, now I'm canning my meat. I'll be putting all my meat in the canner. Here's all my meat into the pressure cooker. I don't know for sure. I had a smaller one last year. I just got this one. I keep them a little ways from the edge. Get. I'm just gonna put uh, nine in there. And go from there. Okay, now I'm gonna put the top on. Top on on, on this is sort of tricky. You gotta sort of slide it, slide it on. It's sort of tricky. And turn it oh, wrong way. Okay. Like I said, they're not the easiest to get on. Okay, make sure the ring's in there, right? There's an arrow here. Right here, open close. They should be able to put it right. Okay, see where the hole is. Right there. Very pain sometimes. I'll get right back until I get it on. Okay, I'm back. I got the lid on. This don't have a gauge, but this has a weight. It says 5, 10, and 15. Okay, around here it's it's 10 minutes, 10 pounds I mean. And when, when the steam comes coming out of here, you wait for 10 minutes, then you put this on. You put this on. Then you, for meat, you go for 70 minutes is what I usually do. And I gotta check my pressure cooker, it's starting to leak. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's starting to steam on the top. So I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and then we'll put the weight on. Be back a little bit. I got a little too much water in there too. Okay, I'm back. It's uh, sealed up, it's pressurizing. Um, you can hear it, the steam coming out. I gotta wait another minute, and then I'll put the weight on. And then I'll start my timer for a little minute. Oops, what's that? Timer. That is zero. That's right. 70, 70 minutes. I said hour and ten minutes. So it'll be one one zero. Okay. 
And this is for my elevator pin. So I'm going to put this on there. And that will regulate. And you can turn the heat down a little bit. I do. And I will start. You see it's bubbling out. Start my timer. Oh. Anyway. Clear right. timer. Can't clear. Timer. Timer. Uh, one, one, zero. Start. There we go. One hour. Just let it, let it cook for 70 minutes. Actually, I don't have to go 70 minutes because it's already cooked. You know what? I could go 40 minutes. Since it's already cooked, I could go 40 minutes. I think that's what I want to do. There it goes. Turn the heat down a little bit. Now when you turn the heat down, if that quits, then you have to uh, start all over the process. That will go like that for quite a while. As long as that's going, everything's working fine. But if you get too low in temperature, then you got to start over. I want to put a gauge right here. I got a gauge from an old one I want to put on this so I know what pressure it's running at. But, and I might put a blowout on this one too. You don't really have to worry too much on it. Once you have that on it, that's to relieve the pressure. Now just start slowing it down and then turn the heat up. See, when your pressure is cooked, up, you don't need, it cooks it, but you don't need that much moisture. You don't need to cover the jars of water. It's, it's pressurizing it, and it's sucking all the air out of your jars to get it cooled. And cook it at the same time. I'll be back in, I don't know, about a half hour to see what it's doing. 